Well, who doesn't love the Zigbee 2 MQTT project? It gives me the power to build my own Zigbee hub. It's affordable, reliable, runs locally, and a fun way to arts mount the vendor's proprietary hubs. However, if your smart home is multi-floored or is made up of thick walls, then you are always bound to find one or some Zigbee device not responding the way it should be. And then you finally find the weakest link in your entire Zigbee 2 MQTT network. So in this video, I'll show you with just $15 this is how you can improve a Zigbee to MQTT network. Hello and welcome to my channel. And if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along and to get some good karma from me. So before I show you on how the $15 solution will improve your Zigbee to MQTT network, let's step back and quickly see on what what is a Zigbee network and what composes it? Well, a typically Zigbee mesh network looks like this. There is always a single coordinator which is represented as a star. You always need at least one coordinator as it also acts as a router and is also the start of your Zigbee network. And when you pair devices to it, you get a simple star network where devices can talk to each other. But when you have more end devices paired over a multi-floor or larger areas, then some devices will act as a router, which are highlighted in blue. Now, routers transfer the traffic of end devices between different Zigbee devices. Now, they cannot be battery powered because a router has to always be ready to transfer messages that come from a child device or a router or even the coordinator. What that means is that a signal for end devices that are highlighted in green hops through one of the available routers to the coordinator or a signal can even use more than one router to communicate with the coordinator. The more routers you have on your Zigbee network, the stronger the total network will become. And that's where this $15 solution comes into action. It's a tiny USB device that basically acts as a router and a powerful Zigbee signal repeater. It improves your Zigbee to MQTT network 8,000%. Now, I got this device from AliExpress, which basically took two weeks to arrive. And depending on your online marketplace, it can come under a different brand name. Now this device comes in a simple packaging and it works with any DC five volt, one ampere adapter, which I think you'll find easily in your home. Plus I've left a affiliate uh, link in the description that will help with the channel as well. So for all of this to work, you will definitely need to have Zigbee to MQTT working on your network. And it doesn't matter if you are using HomeBridge or Home Assistant. Plus for the demo, I I already have some child and other router devices installed and we'll quickly go and install this device uh, into our Zigbee to MQTT network. I'll show you a quick demo and also I'll show with one of my customers how we use these device to power up a multi-floored villa. So let's go ahead now and access our Zigbee to MQTT. And before you go ahead and add this device, what you want to do is go first to settings and you want to make sure the permit join is enabled. And then from there, you want to do is go ahead and insert this in into the adapter. Okay. And let's say, for example, you've uh, uh, added this uh, power up this device and you're not able to see it. All you want to do is remove uh, and plug this in three times and it'll reset the USB drive. So just let me go ahead and insert it. So you will see a, a blue light powering up. And if it's blinking, it will go into pairing mode. Now it's not into pairing mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power it up and turn it off three times. And if you can see it on my camera, it's blinking thrice and it should show up on my network. So there it is. It shows up on my network and let me click on it and rename it. Now, if I click on map and if I load the map, so you'll see that the repeater is right here. Okay, so basically all that you see in blue are all repeaters. Now, one of the difficulties is when you purchase a Zigbee device, typically if they are powered, they should be a router, typically. But I have a powered device, that's my kitchen, a powered switch, it's not a repeater. Now, 
repeaters are highlighted in blue and end devices are highlighted in green end devices don't basically pass on the signal to another device so they're just only received they don't broadcast it further if you want to know what it is you can also select on any device under about you'll see that under device type you'll see it as end device now also another benefit over here with the repeater is that you can plug it anywhere around your house and you can also install it places where you have the weakest signal so it basically connects it to the nearest router or it can even connect to the coordinator and amplify the signal so if i go on maps one more time and that's how it is now this is a very simple zigbee setup i have so i have one child device i'm going to show you right now how it is when you add into on a multi-floored house so this is one of my customer's house that I did do a configuration. And if you can see over here, the star is the coordinator and there are multiple uh, routers installed. And for this multi-floored house, it was ground plus two. I installed on every floor an extender repeater and I was able to connect between the three floors, use one home bridge instance, one Zigbee to MQTT instance and connect it. So just like that, just for $15, a very simple video on how you can improve your Zigbee to MQTT network, keeping it ha healthy, keeping it happy, and also at the same time, you get quick response within the Apple Home app. If you have any questions, do leave me some comments below, below so I can assist you if you have any doubts with the device. Pretty cheap, does a good job. I will see you in the next video. Cheers and happy automation.